Hi YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Sim City on Sundays. All right, so we are back in uh, the uh, Green Vault um, or uh, Green Forest region, which uh, still has lots of. Uh, it's a public region and it still has lots of um, open, uh, unclaimed uh, land out there. So if anyone wanted to go ahead and hop in and play uh, in with me, you know, feel free. Um, the The title of the um, the video here, uh, Green Vault, is how I spell the name of the region. So. You know, please feel free to uh, to join me. Uh, as you can see, I've got the two towns. I've got the Traviata Knoll and uh, uh, Giovanni Woods. I think are the the two towns I have going on currently. Um, with uh, Traviata Knoll here, um, for those of you who haven't been watching, this town is sort of like the mostly industrial town. It's also doing ore mining, and will be providing alloy uh, once we get to a certain level of of ore, uh, ore extraction and stuff. I'm trying to get enough employees here. And uh, the big challenge has been trying to get people to commute from Giovanni Woods over to Traviata Knoll. Um, the people in Giovanni Woods don't have enough jobs because I didn't build any industrial in that town. Um, its focus is um, the electronics industry. And so it's electronics industry and commercial um, zones and that's it. Uh, everything else is residential. And so I'm trying to get them to come here to work. And um, so that's been somewhat of a challenge. It's like, how do I get them to commute over here for work? Because they, they keep complaining that they don't have any jobs. Um, and Traviata, um, Noel keeps complaining that they don't have enough employees. So <laughs> they're right next to each other. I've got train stations um, on, on both of them. Uh, connected to each other so they can they can commute by train um i might have to put in a bus system or something like that as well and here i can you can see i'm kind of checking out the uh the trade ports and things and and seeing what i've what i've got here i've got things exporting for right now i will eventually um and I'm just kind of switching some stuff out there i have some alloy going out uh, but we'll uh, we'll eventually uh, get things moving here. I mean, it just it just I think just takes time um, to get enough. Uh, probably getting enough industry. I mean, I finally got enough industry kind of building out and filling in everything here that was mostly empty for a long time. Um, and I do have you know obviously I have some residential here. I can't not have any residential otherwise the town just wouldn't do anything. But um, yeah, right now we're we're still trying to get the. Um, get things going here. Um, so you can see here some mass transit. We've got lots of mass transit between the between the towns and um, have some uh, donated vehicles and things from the one to the other. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking at all the different uh, different variables here and things and and uh, most you know I built the uh, Giovanni Woods first so it's kind of got more more things going on. The the sounds a bit bigger. It's got a little bit more um, population, etc. Uh, population actually was up to thirteen thousand, then it dropped down to about nine thousand um, because people couldn't find jobs. Now it's back up to eleven thousand. Um, still hoping that people will start commuting over to Traviata Knoll for jobs, but we'll we'll have to see what happens because uh, we've got like you know larger. Um, building complexes, apartment complexes being built now, that kind of thing. So, yeah, it says, you know, we need a place to work. It's like, well, there's a place to work. You just have to get on a train and commute over there. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yep, there's the train station. Like, you just have to get up on the train station. So I decided, okay, well, fine, let me build a regional bus. Maybe people would prefer the bus. Maybe the bus is cheaper. I don't know. So I'm trying to figure out here. It's like, okay, where did I put the bus station? It's like, oh, okay, we can stick it over there. People can drive to that part of town. And then I just kind of throw in bus stops all over town. And I'm guessing, you know, I'm not quite sure if, like, because this is the regional bus system. Uh, can people get on and off the bus um, in town as well as, you know, between cities and stuff. So, so we've got the, we've got the terminal here, but I will have to, um, build one in the other city, which I haven't done yet. 
Um, but we'll have the one here so people can come gonna get around this town uh, by bus. But then I need to, um, that's the one thing that I haven't done yet, um, is to go ahead and build one um, in the other town so that they can kind of go between towns and stuff. Uh, but yep, there we go, lots of buses. And I think I think it does work in town as well as uh, regionally. So um, for right now, we've got bus station and, you know, I had a, a thing of reduced pollution. So that's one thing that the buses do is help reduce pollution. So I've kind of solved that problem. And here I've got to delete some more abandoned commercial buildings because, again, we don't have enough don't have enough people so uh, not high not enough high wealth shoppers I think is the problem there and then I think ultimately um, some of my research has shown that in order to get people to commute to Traviata Nola to work is you need more high wealth um, residents not quite sure how that works I don't know why you have to have a high wealth resident to want to commute to another town to work in an industrial job. <laughs> I would think it would be the other way around. I would think that you'd want low wealth residents who would commute to um, the industrial jobs. But, you know, what do I know? Um, so here you can see, you know, I got this beautiful park and I got, a, you know, someone in a, in a trailer living right next to the park. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to evict them, that's fine. But yes, yeah, so I'm kind of looking at some of the uh, uh, the wealth statistics here, and I'm going to have to uh, kind of I'm probably going to put in some more parks or something to help uh, increase wealth um, in some of these regions and stuff. But yeah, just kind of looking at so we we're kind of full on freight there at the moment. We're exporting some, uh, doing some good exporting there, so that's a good thing. Uh, you can see 127, 140. You know, so there's there's some there's some good stuff going on here. Um, still bleeding money like crazy. You know, which is one of the reasons why you know, as as I've said before, I am using this. This is sandbox mode. So yeah, if you're interested in playing this region, it is sandbox mode. So you can use cheats. You don't have to, but you can. It's your choice. Um, but I uh, I purposely uh, made this sandbox mode because. I can build cities faster uh, in sandbox mode with the cheats. Um, I am, you know, one of my goals is to eventually get to a point where I don't need to use the cheats, where the city is self-sustaining. Um, this one obviously is nowhere near that. Um, Traviata Knoll actually is. The Traviata Knoll is actually um, in the green and making a profit every um, hour or every month or whatever these statistics are. Yeah, this is per hour. So, you know, a city with a lot of industry seems to, to do really well, um, and you can kind of maintain a profit there. And this city, and purposely, I didn't put any industry in here because I wanted to focus on, you know, university and um, high tech and that kind of thing. And I wanted to have like a really highly educated um, community. And I, so I wanted to put um, the, the lower educated um, industrial community next door. So they're, they're kind of suburbs of each other or, um, you know, partner towns, if you will, um, having, having the, the, the more focus on, on industry in one town and the more focus on uh, education and high tech in the other town. All right, so here I am going in and, and just kind of like, okay, I need more uh, wealth. And the best way to build wealth in a uh, community is to put in parks. Uh, parks attract high wealth, uh, and you can see here as uh, the as the the uh, ground goes darker, darker teal. I guess this color is kind of like an aqua teal color. Um, that's the the darker it is, the higher wealth um, the the land is, um, and that attracts higher wealth people. So you've got like a nice big chunk of nice high wealth there. I'm trying to keep some of the um, town. I'm kind of medium to low wealth just because, you know, you, you know, I, I don't think it would be sustainable to have a town of just high wealth. Um, it could be wrong. Now, the elementary school is also kind of getting a little over overloaded, so they're building a second elementary school. Because, again, the, the focus of, of uh, Giovanni Woods is education and um, high tech. So I want to make sure that there's plenty of places for kids to go to school. Um... 
And I did build an elementary school over in um, Traviata Knoll, but I'm not building any colleges or universities. So um, if anyone over there really, really wants a higher education, they have to commute over here uh, in order to do so. All right, so I got more high wealth going now. And I'm hoping that will eventually uh, generate uh, people going to the other town. All right, but for this week, I think we're done. And thank you for joining me. And until next week, take care. Bye-bye.